Hello my YouTube family. This is Miss Deborah. Welcome to my channel. Today, I know I told you a couple of days ago that I was going to be having a surprise, but the surprise is on me, or I should say the joke is on me, because S2, my nephew that started this channel for me, I got to make a hundred sandwiches for his party tomorrow. Y'all think I feel like being bothered with that? I don't think so. And then it's mama. I told her, I said, listen, you need to come over here and get on this camera and be in this camera, I should say, and help me make those sandwiches. She said, I'm not ready to be on TV yet. You think we could do it some other time? How about next year? Next year? I got a hundred sandwiches to make. Oh my goodness. But anyway, he's, he's a good child, so I don't mind doing it. So I'm going to show you how to make party tra a party tray on a budget or make sandwiches on a budget. Because people don't be having a lot of money, child. Sure, we living in some hard times. I know I am. So I'm going to keep it real with you. So here we go. I got some blue paint, some blue plate mayonnaise, excuse me. Some blue plate mayonnaise. And I have some Dali Market yellow mustard that I use to make my sandwich spread. And then we're going to add a little black pepper to our spread. So we're going to take about about a half a cup of mayonnaise or so. Or a little, sometimes a little extra. A little mayonnaise ain't going to hurt nobody. <laughs> okay, then we're going to... Then we're going to take a little mustard. We're going to just squeeze in it. Squeeze it in. Oh, you know what? Forgot to take the label off. That's so goofy. Well, I am a little goofy, but I'm a good person. I'm a, I'm a little silly, but I'm a good person nonetheless. We ain't perfect. So, here we go. Take a little mustard. And we're going to... Let me see about a tablespoon. I will say a tablespoon. And we're going to mix it up with my mini whisk, child. I think I got this, hold on. I think I got this from Walmart. Hmm, I think so. I want to, I got a set, but I'm not sure. But well, anyway, you can use any kind of whisk you want, or you can use, um, you know, one of these little spray things. It don't matter as long as you get it done. You heard me? <laughs> okay, now we're going to mix the mayonnaise and the mustard together, and it's going to come out light yellow. Light yellow, child. And if you feel like you, you need a little bit more mayonnaise, hey, that's that's fine too. You do it your way. Do your own thing. So we mixing the mayonnaise up with my little whisk. And I have about the right consistency, but I think I need to add a little drop more. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, it's all trial and error when you when you're doing things your way. You know, you do it until you figure out what, what works best for you. So that's how, I, that's how I learn things. It's okay. It's okay to make a mistake and start all over. You know why? Because we're not perfect. There's no perfect person on this earth. Not that I know of anyway, except a baby. Now, then we're gonna add a few sprinkles of black pepper. Or you could use white pepper. Nobody can't, nobody's not gonna really notice it anyway, because they're gonna be too busy eating my delicious sandwiches. That's right. So, I went to Walmart, child, because Dollar Tree didn't have nothing. So, I have the Great Value Black Forest Ham. That's what I have. And I have the Great Value Oven Roasted Turkey. What I like about these particular cold cuts, they, they slice very thin. I like thin cold cuts. So, I'm just gonna put that on the side. I just wanted to show you what I had. I, I'm going to be doing two different types of rolls today. I'm going to be doing something called a yeast roll. And this is the roll itself. It's called a yeast roll. And then on this platter here, on this tray, I have the Hawaiian rolls. Child, let me tell you, I love me some Hawaiian rolls, but I can only have one. And one time before I got um, diagnosed as being a diabetic, child, I eat four or five. You hear me? With a, with a bowl of spaghetti. Hmm. Girl, I used to, whew, I can eat. I used to get eat, but now I gotta take that insulin. So, anyway, how y'all like my hair today? Miss Deborah not wearing her wig like she usually be wearing, cause look, I just wanted to be natural and comfortable. We getting, we getting real close, so I think I could, I don't have to wear that wig all the time. So let me wash my hands because I touch my hair, and I don't want no hair fibers and nobody food.
you know, today is a little chilly here in New Orleans. It's raining. It's going to get cold. So I know I'm not going to be able to walk around my shorts on much longer. So I got some knee shorts on. So when I went outside, because today was a busy day, y'all. Let me tell you. I had to go get my mama. You know, she having some work done at the house. So I had to go pick her up. So I had to bring her over here. So she in the she in the room, in my room, watching cowboy movies. She loves some cowboy movies, y'all here. Hmm. Anyway, I'm glad to have her here nonetheless. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open up my rolls. Can I hope y'all can see me what I'm doing? I'm just gonna keep them in my hand because I'm trying to show y'all exactly what I'm doing with, with the best that I have. It's gonna take a little smudge, a little smidge of um, you know, your mayonnaise and your mustard combination. But you don't want too much. You don't want people to know that it's on the bread because it really enhances the flavor of the of the meat and the bread. So here we go. I have the turkey. I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one, two slices of turkey on a roll. And then I'm gonna fold it like that. You see? Mm -hmm. Give me a piece. You wanna bite? You wanna bite of my sandwich? <laughs> this so delicious. And I'm gonna set them in my tray like this so that it can look really nice for this party. And I'm gonna take one of my colorful Q-tips. I mean, one of my colorful toothpicks. I'm sorry, not Q-tips, cause hey, we don't want that. We don't want that in our food. So we're gonna take one of our colorful toothpicks and we're gonna stick it in the middle, like so, so that it can look really nice for his party. And we're gonna sit it in the tray, and we're gonna do that back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. We could do it. We're gonna do the turkey, then we're gonna do the ham. Turkey and ham. You, you see what I'm trying to do? See what I'm trying to do? So I have to make a hundred sandwiches today, but I'm not gonna keep you all day because I know people get bored. By the way, let me tell you, y'all know what? Miss Deborah got 87 views. Child, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I had 87, 87 views, but I'm so lucky. And so blessed. And it's because of you guys. You guys really, really uh, made that possible for me. Because I didn't know what was going to happen. In terms of me getting interviews. And I'm so blessed and so happy. This is the this is the ham. Mm -hmm. You only put enough on there. Um, where the, where the, um, you know, the party goers can really enjoy the food. And enjoy the bite of the sandwich. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to sit that in our tray. You see like I'm doing it like this, organized like that? Because I got a little OCD, so I'm trying to deal with that too. But here we go. We're going to go back and forth. Yeah, I'm using two different types of rolls today. And let me tell you why. It's, it's not by coincidence. It was a mistake. Because we went to Walmart yesterday, my sister and I. And <laughs> she didn't have her glasses on. But I had mine on, but that didn't help. <laughs> So we both go in the store and get two different types of rolls. And I think that's so funny. That's the funniest thing. She, she don't even realize it because I didn't even tell her yet. I didn't even tell her about the rolls. But I'm going to tell her later so she can know what we did. <laughs> we do some things sometimes. It's not like having a sister. It really isn't. It's not like having family. Family is everything. Because in situations sometimes... You can always go and be comforted by your loved ones. You know, I know, I hear that saying, like, you know, family is a pain in the butt. But at the end of the day, it's a blessing to have a family. And I love mine. I really do. I love mine. So that's why I'm in here making these sandwiches. And, you know, I, Sheldon is just, Sheldon is not just my, um, um one Shannon is not, he's, my, he's one of my youngest nephews, but I have, um, I have another nephew. Um, he's the owner of a janitorial company here in New Orleans called Sensations. That's the name of his company. And I had to get it right, because sometimes these teeth don't be working, but 
I got it right today. That's right. Scent Sations. That's S C E N T S A T I O N S. And I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my of my box. But I just want you to know that um he does really quality good work. You know, if you have if you don't feel like cleaning your own establishments or your own offices or or homes or you got some rental property or whatever that you need clean, you should call you should call him because he learned a lot from his family how to clean. He's a clean, clean man. And when I tell you how clean he is, he's clean. Look at my mama, y'all. Come on in, mama. What you want? Okay, thank you. She giving me trash to throw away, y'all. <laughs> She's something else, I'm telling you. My mama, my mama is one more. Yeah. Yeah, she She's a you know, she's a she's a firecracker. And she has no filter at that age, I'm telling you right now. Because she say what she wanna say, she don't care. But anyway, back to my nephew. His name is Janelle, but everybody call him Jay. J A Y. Um, he's a little he's an entrepreneur. Him and his wife, they own um several businesses here in New Orleans. And they're doing they're doing good. Because they, they do good things. They're good human beings, you know. And that's that's what I I really admire about them. They're not selfish people. They give back to their community. And he he's always trying to help people. And she's always trying to help people if they can, you know. I mean they're not a big company, but nonetheless they have a nice they have a good company and they have a, they have a, they work with a lot of lawyers, a lot of doctors, a lot of athletes here in New Orleans, and a lot of regular folks like myself. He do a good job cleaning people people um property. Because he got some good patients doing that because some people, man, they just keep some nasty houses. It's so bad you got to stand outside and talk to them. And they tell you, "Come on in." And you see you see, you see roaches and rats running across the damn floor. No, thank you. I think I stay out here. How you doing today? Yep, you're one of those numbers. I don't I do not do that to be mean. I just don't like no nasty house. I really don't. You mean to tell me you can't sweep? You can't keep your floor clean? But you got, if you got families, you got you to gotta do better than that. You know? Mm-mm. People laugh and, you know, Miss Depper got OCD. Yeah, I got OCD. You know? But... I like clean. I like clean things. I like stuff to be very functional and very clean. And I'm not going to go in no funky box. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to sit in nobody's house and it's dirty and funky. It, I'm just not going to do it. And that's the last thing I would try to do is hurt somebody's feelings. But I like, I like cleaning this. I really do. So anyway, like I was saying, you know, he, him and his wife, they own... Um, they own the businesses. He also own a, a, a online clothing store, and I'm gonna put that in the bottom of the description as well. So I'm just waiting for his for Sheldon Mama for S2 Mama to come in here or to come over and try to help me with some of these sandwiches because she act like I ain't got no life. Child, I got a life too, you know. I like to go do things. I don't want to be here making all no hundred sandwiches by myself. Who? Mm mm. Oh no, she better she better get in. She better get over here and come help me with these sandwiches. Cause I'ma call her up and leave and I got a surprise for her. Oh, but next time I'm gonna I'm gonna prank her real good. She playing with the right one. Cause um I don't have time to be to be pranked. That's what she did. She pranked me to be in here making all these sandwiches today. A hundred sandwiches? But well, they better appreciate these sandwiches. Whoo! Child. Mm-mm. Anyway, I'm so glad y'all joining me today. One of these days, I'm going to do a live feed, you know, when I, maybe next year. But right now, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I'm still trying to do my very best, you know. And I, that's why I love and appreciate, you know, my YouTube foodies for helping me, for inspiring me to keep on going. You know, I get, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of comments, but the one comment that I, did get I appreciate it I really did um she really made me feel welcome I can't think of her I can't think of her right now I, I really want to 
Um, but I'm, but I sent her a thank you, and I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep on striving. I'm going to keep on working hard to get my channel up. And I just, you know, and I'm so appreciative that y'all helping me, you know, because I know I'm a new channel. It's not, it's not all fancy and stuff like that. But I appreciate, I really do appreciate y'all supporting me, looking at my videos, you know. You know, and if you want to, you can, you can comment. You can tell me what you think, what I need to do. Like my, like my niece today, my son, my nephew wife. She said, Miss, she said, Auntie Miss Depper, she said, make sure you show, you show the viewers your food. I said, you want me to show the viewers my food? She said, she said yes. I said, okay. <laughs> she, you know, she wants to thought she was going to hurt my feelings, but hey, it's just good advice. That's all it is. Just good advice. And I don't mind when it comes from the heart. I don't mind when it comes from the heart. You know, it was it was funny when she when she did that because, you know, she she never she never said anything to me like that. And I guess she thought she was being disrespectful. But she said, Auntie, if you just if you just show your, your food a little bit, the people could see what you're doing. I said, Okay, I'm gonna show the people my food. I'm doing I'm doing my best. I don't have the <laughs> best equipment. But you gotta start some way. Gotta start some way. So that's what I'm doing. So child got a lot of sandwiches to make today. And oh you know what? I just wanna tell you, Friday is gonna be poor boy Friday. I'm gonna be doing cook, you know, making poor boys. Let me show you how we get down here in the Crescent City, how we get down in Nola and what we eat. We like we like our poor boy sandwiches. You got a sandwich, you got a, a meat spec, a meat called hot sausage. It's a little round patty and it's spicy. It's like a hamburger except spicy. Oh, you know what, girl? That's some good eating. That's some good eating. I used to tear them up. You, you hear me? I used to eat them every other day before I had, before my doctor told me you stop eating like that. Where you think you're at? You know, I had to stop it, child, because I love, I love me some roast beef on French. I love me a hot sausage on French. I love me an oyster sandwich and a, and a shrimp sandwich on French. So we're going to be doing um, the hot sausage sandwich on French, and we're going to do um, a shrimp sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how I do my shrimp sandwiches. It's going to be so delicious. But my nephew, he told me, he said, the one who owned the businesses, he said, Auntie, when you make your sandwiches, he said, put them on the side for me because you know you're not supposed to have that. I said, y'all stay out of my business. Why y'all all in my business? What are you telling me what I can and cannot eat? But they right. I don't want to get sick again. So I told him I'll put them on the side. I said, now which one do you want? He said, you can give me the hot sausage. And my, and, my, and my daughter told me. She said, you can give me the shrimp. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's just, it's just so beautiful to have a family. Like I always, like I'm, you know, like I always say. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. So I got a long way to go, y'all, with these sandwiches. And I, I hope, you know, Sheldon S2 Mama give me a call, and let me know where she at, so she, I can, I can, so she can get here, or I can go, go ahead and pick her up for, for her to make, so we can get finished these sandwiches. But y'all, this is a lot of work. This is a lot. I mean, it's not a lot of work. It's just tedious for me, especially. Um, being a person that I am, you know, I don't, I like, I like, this is like time consuming for me, you know, when you got OCD, you know, you try to get finished things real quick, you know, it's like, oh, I gotta go through all these sandwiches to get where I need to get. And I, you know, I hope he appreciate it like I, I know he do. And I hope his mom appreciate it, cause I'm, I got her though. I'm telling y'all right now, my YouTube foodies, I got her. She got the wrong one. She ain't gonna be trying to have me in here. Uh, cooking no holiday foods and making no holiday sandwiches. Which what's, what's gonna be next? A pot roast? Sure. Uh, I don't think so. I, I like to cook. You know when I, I don't mind cooking. I like to cook. When I when I cook, it's you know it helps to take some of the pressure off me, like because I suffer with depression. Because like um, some days. Or worse than other days. And let, me, and let me just say to you, I talked about this before, and I, I ain't ashamed about nothing. When I tell you, I'm going to keep it real with you. 
everybody have something going on in their life. You understand? African Americans, yes, we suffer with um, depression. African Americans, yes, we we should go see therapists. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting mental health. Nothing. Because <clears throat> it helps you to find out why the depression is what it is, and it helps you to get where you need to go to get better. Because one thing about African Americans, you know, it's taboo to talk about mental illness, and it's, that, it's taboo to talk about depression. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't talk about that in our culture. Oh, yes, we do, because it's a lot of it in our culture. And let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. We're not going to front like that. It's a lot of it in our culture. And there's nothing wrong with getting help for it. So if you're depressed, go get help. Go get help for it. You know? You don't want to. You don't want to be depressed all your life. You don't know why. Because if there's somebody who can help you to figure out why, and what you can do to, to be better, I just I think it's beautiful. I think it's a good thing, and that's why I share this with you guys. I'm not. A, I'm not ashamed. Yeah, I go see a therapist. Shit. Sure. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to curse, but yeah, I do go see one, and I I ain't ashamed about it. So, still with making these sandwiches, child. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something else about Miss D. Miss D is a breast cancer survivor. Yes, she is. One thing about me, I'm resilient. I'm a very strong, very prayed, prayed up woman. I know God is responsible for my life, and what it is, and how it's done. So, I got my left. I had to get my left breast removed. I had to get it removed five years ago, you know. And one thing when I first when I first found out I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed with something called DCIS. D is in David, C is in Cat, I is in India, and S is in Sam. And I was wondering what that was. It, it was a form of cancer. My calcifications, I had an abundant. I had a lot of them, and in some type of way, it turned into cancer. But it, it was really in the beginning stages. It had, it had not reached any stage one or anything like that. They called it in the very, very beginning. And that's why it's important for African-American women and all women to get tested. You know, I don't care what. Go twice, a, go twice a month. Go twice a year, I'm sorry. Go twice a year and go see about your health. And do your breast exams yourself, too. And make sure you don't have any lumps. If you feel like something is wrong with your breast, don't wait. You know, go tell your doctor. Say, doctor, I don't know if this is a lump or a gland, but don't wait. God told me to go early, and they, and they got it early. So I had to get my left breast removed. And I felt like after I got it done, like I looked at my, looked at my breast, and it was just an empty hollow shell. They took all, everything out, everything out. I felt like, oh, no, I feel What am I going to do without my breasts at first? You know, what am I going to do, Lord? Let's see. It was, it was, it was just an experience that you'll never forget. But I kept my faith. The whole time I, I kept my faith, even through me getting my biopsy, just to make sure that it was cancer, I kept my faith. And God carried me through it all like he do now. God has always been with me, and you're going to hear me talk about God, because that's who I believe in. That's where I get my strength from. That's who loves me, and I know, and he knows that I love him. So don't be ashamed about expressing yourself. Don't be ashamed about saying how you feel, because Miss D not. Miss D going to keep it real with you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Sometimes I say a little bad words, but not by, you know, by accident, but... I want you to know how I feel and what's going on, and if and you're gonna t and if you don't like it, you take it how you like it. You know, I'm I'm never, but I'm not here to hurt people's feelings or or anything like that. I'm here to share the news, to keep you abreast of things, and that's my whole purpose. That's my whole purpose. My purpose is not about negativity. My neck, my, 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 I'm not about fighting people, cursing people out. I just want to, I just want to be happy. I want to just 
let you know and take this ride along with me so we can get through this together. And if you got any questions from this D about any ailments that's going on in your life, my email is my name, my first name, dot forward, 53513 at gmail.com. I'm going to put that in the bottom of my description as well. And I got two emails. So you can you can contact me on a, on both of them. And the other one is Essential New Orleans 19 at gmail.com. So if you want to talk to me about anything, child, you can call me. You can, you can text me. I'll text you back. You're going to get tired of me. Because I'm going to be checking on you. Sure lives. You ain't going to get away that easy. But I'm not a stalker, you know. <laughs> I just want to, whatever's going on in your life, I just want to help you to get through it if I can. If I can. I'm not saying I'm a doctor or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. If, if you need to go and see a doctor, that's what you need to go and do. Because I'm not a doctor. And I'm just telling you what I've been through. My experience. I can't say how your experience is. But I can tell you how I feel. But I am so happy to have you here today. I'm making these sandwiches for S2. I'm getting hungry, y'all. I'm getting hungry for hot sausage sandwiches. But I'm gonna I'm steal one of these sandwiches before he take them to his party tomorrow. He gonna have 99. <laughs> he think he gonna have 100 sandwiches? Uh-uh, I'm gonna eat. I might eat two. Shoot, he playing with the wrong one. Especially me being a foodie. I'm going to enjoy this sandwich. I'm going to enjoy these sandwiches. Give me a, some Dr. Pepper, some Diet Dr. Pepper. Surely, yeah. Hmm. Nah, all the hard work I had to do for these sandwiches, and you think I ain't going to get none? Sure, I'm going to enjoy them. I'm going to enjoy me a couple of these sandwiches. Sure. But sometime at night, I want a snack, and this this is not going to hurt me. I sit on my bed, eat one of these sandwiches, drink me some cold water. And that's a wrap. I just want to say thank you for joining my joining me today, being a part of Essential New Orleans, making sandwiches on a budget. You know, I really appreciate you tuning in, keeping me company today. And thank you. Thank you to those who like my channel, who's giving me a chance to 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 do well. I just want y'all to know I love y'all. If you got any comments, go ahead and do that. If you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. If not, I still love you. I ain't going to change nothing. Okay? So this is Miss Deborah. I want y'all to have a blessed day and a nice day. Until next time, stay, stay blessed.